friends. Okay, I'm going to jump right in with this review because this book has so much to talk about and I just want to um, get through everything and keep this as short as possible like last time. So the review today is Happiness. This is the cover. I showed it in my last stream as one of the ones that I had coming up. It is by Shuzo Oshimi. And I'm going to start right off with talking about the quality of this book. This is a supernatural horror series. It started in 2015, and it is just now here in the U.S. So we're on about volume three in the U.S., and it is ongoing. So this is a great one to pick up and follow as it goes along. The volume itself is absolutely beautiful. This is a Kadansha comic, and you may recognize that name from some anime that you watch. It has a really nice textured matte cover and just gorgeous artwork. I can't get enough of this artwork. And what's so amazing um, as far as extras go is that this book starts with, um, sometimes when you get a book, it'll have one high gloss color. This starts the whole chapter in high gloss color. So it's several pages of gorgeous high, um, like really high quality. Here's one of the pictures. Absolutely beautiful. So that for me is a real treat um, that you do not see very often. You may get one high gloss like cover page or one art um, insert in a volume of manga like this, but to have so many in a volume that is so reasonably priced. This was $12.99. Um, at Barnes and Noble and I hate buying from Barnes and Noble so normally I would get it on Amazon and you might save a couple bucks there but um, really just a beautiful high quality book it's large it's flexible um, everything about it is beautiful so as a reader from the start that really uh, grabbed me the um, I'll get right into the story then so this is a story about a boy it is not the most original vampire uh, story that I've heard a boy is walking home in the night and the girl vampire which we see in the high gloss picture that I showed you right here attacks him the night before she attacks him she attacked another man in the neighborhood and he died but when she attacks this boy she asks him if he wants to be like her and he says that he doesn't want to die and so she lets him live and he starts to change um, hi Lauren thank you for being here um, so the story, um, is about a boy named Okazaki and he is sort of a nerd at school. He's a first year. He gets bullied, um, into buying the other kids lunch. It's as far as tropes go, I do have to say that this is not the most original, but what is incredible about this book is the artwork, the way it is so lovingly created. Just like the last book that I reviewed, there is one writer and one artist. And again, of course, they have a team helping them, but that means that the vision is unified. And that's really, really important for me. Um, I find that some of the most special books that I read have this unified vision by someone who is writing and drawing it. And you really see how lovingly it is created, um, all of the gorgeous detail, all of the full page pictures um, that are included. So this one started really slow. Um, basically, we find out about the attack. We find out that Okazaki is a nerd and um, he is changed. He begins to change and uh, it sort of is just the beginning of his change is where we leave off in this book without giving too much away. But I am definitely going to continue it. Um, there are some very interesting characters. He meets an interesting girl named Yukiko who is very quirky and unusual. She says some really bizarre things and um, is sort of like forcing herself into friendship with him. And she's just very intriguing. We just get a glimpse of her. So I cannot wait to see um, what happens with her. Um, He's just beginning to realize, the main character, Okazaki, is just starting to realize what's happening to him, but maybe not specifically. So that's really exciting. Another thing I love about this book that is um, something that you see occasionally, but not as often as I would like to, is at the end of the book, there are very specific and detailed translation notes that go back um, over the page where something that might be um, culturally different. It's just two pages here, but something that might not necessarily translate, 
not language wise, but in Western culture that exists in the book. And they take a really, a really special care to um, draw our attention back to those places and explain to us, okay, so in Japan, they have um, in this volume, they talk about some particular kinds of food that we see, and they talk about um, uh, some particular activities that, that he takes part in. So it's really nice to see how committed they seem to be to bringing this to Western readers and making sure that we get a full experience and really enjoy the story as much as they hope that we will. So like I said, Happiness for me, the first volume, story-wise, is a very slow roll. We don't get as far as I would have hoped we would um, by the end. That said, the intriguing characters, the incredibly stunning artwork, and all of the bonuses of the high gloss, beautiful color art pages and the translation notes that um, really just bring us in more to the world of the story and the culture of the story are huge wins for me. And I actually cannot wait to continue this series. As a volume, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's about a four out of five for me. Um, and I think that's a great score and I can't wait to buy the second volume and keep going. So let me know what you guys think. If you are going to check out Happiness, I always um, love to read along with people. It's great to have a group of friends to do that with. So if you check it out, let me know. If you have thoughts about the review, let me know. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks, bye.